Okay, we are beginning our, our webinar on the finding opportunity in gold and silver. So I'm Mike Ong, and beside me I have uh, Weiren that will be covering the TA portion later on. I hope everyone that have enjoyed your dinner already. So what we'll be discussing today, first of all we'll be discussing uh, what is gold, what is silver, playing the ratio game, product to trade gold and silver, and lastly uh, we will cover on the gold technical outlook. I think uh, for this portion, I'll uh, go through pretty fast because everyone know why it's gold. So it's actually one of the most popular precious metal for trading. And I think everyone know where to trade gold. I think since you are young, right, you have uh, so-called exposure to gold already. So actually for the gold, right, they have quite a lot of usage other than the jewelry that we normally know since young. So actually for some people, right, actually they do go plant, uh, go implant in, on their teeth. And also it can be used for food decoration and for gold, right? Especially at the nanoparticle, there's quite a lot of medical usage for this gold. And in our daily computers that we use, the handphone that we use also contain a small portion of the gold. And aerospace and electronic definitely will contain a uh, gold because of due to their property of uh, able to conduct electricity well, good conductor of electricity, and also uh, of their uh, other properties. So here is a short history about gold. So actually gold has been known since long time ago during the Egyptian. So during that period, right, there's also the first known uh, currency exchange ratio. Then also subsequently, Greeks will also view gold as a symbol, uh, social status. And also it's a sign of wealth. And since then it's already has been used as a current form of currency. Then in 1792, right, actually US Congress passed the first mean and con age to establish the fixed price of the gold. Subsequently, they removed the price of the gold patch to USD dollars. Uh, they put in the patch to the USD dollars. This one is actually how it also helped US to become the global superpower today due to this uh, pledging of the gold to the USD dollars. Then uh, in 1970s, they actually end the gold standard means that they patch from the USD dollars. And uh, I will say that one of the most key events that helped in the gold price right, is actually the launch of the first gold back ETF because it's make it easier for everyone to start investing in gold. Because if you want to invest in physical gold, you have to think where do you want to store and how, you, uh, how to maintain this. But with the launch of this gold ETF, right, it make it easier to, for everyone to trade it online. So there are quite a lot of factors that affect gold price. First, we will say about ETF, supply, demand, interest rate, and uncertainty like geopolitical factors, disease, and trade war tension. So you can see since 2003, right, the, is the launch of the first gold ETF. So since the ETF has launched, right, because it's easier for everyone to do online trading as compared to going to a shop to buy a gold. So this one make gold very uh, easy to trade and make it easier for any speculation. So you can see since 2003, actually the uh, start of the goal has started to run up. I think recently the goal has also big new high, but I have entered uh, to a correction phase recent. Later, I think we will share more about the TA portion. So this is uh, the ETF flow chart. So actually gold ETF right, is actually a key important of the total gold demand for this year, because they mentioned that for investor, right, they will continue other than, it's not easy to invest into physical, so they always go into uh, ETF. So actually with this, a lot of uncertainty in the market and also uh, so-called FAP has been printing a lot of money. This has made go as a, I would say that uh, go as a safe haven. So actually for this uh, work, go council, right? I expect more price gain ahead for actually this matter. And if you are looking in terms of uh, so-called inflation adjust record, right? Actually, the price of the gold, right? They actually did a calculation. It's actually USD 2.8,000. So you can see currently it's trading around uh, 19,000. So 1900. So in case you expect, right, if they really follow this inflation adjusted record, they can actually go up to the 2,800. However, they mentioned that also short-term pause of consolidation are also possible at this stage. So another thing is interest uh, go right is actually uh, 
in the so-called opposite correlation with the uh, goal. So if interest rates actually going up, actually this will actually make other, when interest rates go up, right, they're expected for return for uh, so-called stock or this, will also expect to be go higher. So that's why this will actually decrease the demand for the goal. However, when interest rate has been going up, especially with this COVID-19, right? <clears throat> so you can see that actually they has been cutting interest rate. So this, when they cut interest rate, uh, the so-called the return for the stock also start to go down. So actually this make go uh, so-called more attractive as compared to the stock investment. So actually, if I would say that it may not be actually exactly the same as you see that actually gold price and the stock price has been going up uh, together significantly, or especially in the US, you can see the gold price has been breaking new high and also the stock price has been breaking new high. So I'll say that actually another thing is that economic confidence level that will affect the gold price. And so over here, we'll be seeing that as long as uncertainty, especially with Trump in the, as a president, you can see there's quite a lot of uncertainty in the market. Every time Trump do a Twitter, like uh, they will do when they, especially when they do targeting of China, you can see uh, in 2019, they announced a 10% tariff on the 300 billion of this China's import with no progression. You can see actually gold price start to spike up. Subsequently, if you see in the Middle East where Iran deputy leader was being killed, you see another spike up also. Then when you see actually uh, about this death of the uh, so-called COVID-19 has surpassed the SARS, right? People start to worry already. Then this one also caused uncertainty. Then you subsequently actually gold price also start to spike up. Then outbreak in Korea and other market, they also cause the gold price to spike up. And subsequently, when Fed also announced their rate cut of 0.5%, you call, saw gold also start to spike up. So every time there's uncertainty in the market, actually the gold price will actually spike up during that uh, few days. Then subsequently, they announced the Fed unlimited QE. So you can see actually the price has, of the gold has been shooting up all the way to the 2000 mark. So uh, just some fun facts. So actually everyone body right, actually contain a so-called a small, very small amount of gold. So actually, in fact, everyone body mass weigh, uh, if an uh, average person body weighing around seven kg, right, will actually contain a total mass of 0 0.2 milligram of the gold. So you can see gold, you actually can find it everywhere, even inside your body. So uh, another thing is about uh, gold, right? Actually, there's a sister of gold is actually known as silver. So what is really silver? So actually silver right, is another method can actually help to pro provide protection during finance, financial and geopolitical uncertainty similar to gold. They also have similar usage in jewelry. One of the most important usage for silver is actually in photography, solar energy. These two uh, make up the kind of portion of the usage. Then there's also other medical usage for this uh, silver similar to the gold. Same thing for silver, ETF also make it easier for investing, supply, demand, interest rate, and uncertainty. So actually you can see that uh, what factor actually affect the gold right will actually pretty much affect silver also. So one thing is about silver right, unlike gold right, silver is actually rarely found alone. So actually for silver right, it's more commonly found together with other uh, mineral ores like contain, that contain lead, copper, gold, and other metals. And these metals right, are usually, uh, I would say that, uh, used for other, have more usage as compared to silver. So actually silver is mainly produced, right? it's actually a byproduct of this copper, zinc, and lead production. So you can see actually silver, right, mainly, uh, primary silver is very small portion. It's usually a byproduct of other metals. So in case of actually economic slow, economic factors slow down the demand for other metal like copper, zinc, and lead, right? This will actually affect the so-called the supply side of the silver also. So when there's if there's higher demand for actually silver, lower supply for the silver actually this can cause the price to spike out also. So that's why silver is also a bit more speculative. So uh, later we'll talk about the gold-silver ratio. Next is that uh, a lot of people will be asking 
when you want to invest into gold and silver, how much should you allocate? So actually we'll come up with investment allocation. I think I share this quite a lot of times. So when you want to do investment into gold silver, first of all, you have to balance your risk and reward. So do think no allocation asset varies across to across different individuals because everyone have different risk tolerance, time horizon and inv investment objective. And for example, some, some of us, maybe they want to invest for maybe the next five to 10 years, but others may be investing for the next 20 to 30 years. So you can see actually that's the different and how much risk we are willing to take is also uh, quite different. So we always talk about three main asset class, equity, fixed income, and cash. But in reality, right, there's much more different type of asset class, if, including gold, silver. Then you know, some people will talk about Bitcoin. There's quite a lot of property. There's quite a lot of different kind of asset class out there. So asset allocation, right, can even in equity, right, can go into different type of uh, stock. So just how we talk, all, all kind of uh, assets that you can invest on. So as an investor, right, how much do you allocate towards gold and silver? One thing to take note of, if you are allocating too much to gold and silver, right, one thing you have to take note, whether gold and silver give you any uh, dividend yield. Because if you are holding a gold and silver over a long period of time and they don't really go up much, especially during a stable period, right, you, you will see that actually gold and silver fluctuation right, is very low and they don't produce any uh, returns at all. So they do not pay dividend at other stock. And it does, doesn't really grow in terms of that. So that's why actually we have a guideline that you should not invest more than two to 5% of your portfolio in passion matter because they don't really actually produce a so-called passive income for you. It's actually more for speculation and storage of value also. So there are a few ways to trade. Uh, first is actually you just trade on the gold price based on technical analysis where later Raven will share about more about this technical analysis. Another way is actually making of use uh, gold and silver ratio trend. I think I've written an article on this. Actually, when we discussed it, I think it's a few months back, we discussed about uh, the gold and silver ratio. So how to actually play this ratio game? First of all, you have to identify the gold silver ratio chart. Subsequently, the uh, determine the individual trend for the gold and silver. From there, you use this table. Then from there, you can actually uh, identify whether to buy gold or sell gold or buy silver, sell silver. So let's say for this chart, identify the trend of this gold and silver. So you can see that gold and gold silver ratio right, has been actually going up. You can see actually the trend line support. So gold and silver has been making a higher low. So it's forming an upward trend. So you first identify this uh, upward trend. Next, you actually identify actually gold price has been slowly rising over the, this period of time. Silver has been actually also rising over this period of time. So you can see actually gold silver is uptrend, gold and silver is also uh, uptrend, then your trading signal will actually buy gold. Then you look out for any trading opportunity to actually enter into a gold. So there are, when you're trading any trading, right, it's actually very important to have some good risk management habit. Always make use of any risk reward ratio to compute the expected return over the potential loss. And you have to also manage your capital to risk on the trade. So just now I mentioned, if even you are actually speculating on gold and silver, you should not put 100% of your capital on that. Maybe just a small, short, small percentage, maybe 10 to 15% only for speculation. Also do think that please always put stop loss for every trade that you do. So here are some of the product that you can actually use to trade gold. So for physical gold back ETF, we have this uh, O87. It's, this one is actually something that you can also use your CPF to do investment, but do think that don't put too much into gold because it's only for short-term speculation and they do not actually produce a so-called a passive income. Then over here, we also have the GLD mini SPDY gold mini shares. And there's iShare Gold Trust. Then for the minor gold miner, right? You can ETF, you can consider these two uh, ETF, gold miner ETF and the junior. Uh, this is the junior gold miner ETF, the missing R. Then for unit trust, you can look out for this uh, BlackRock World Gold and also the DWS Noble uh, Precious Metal Security Funds classes. 
So other than this product, right, if you are going for trading, sometimes you may want to use a bit of leverages. So we actually for Philips CFD, they have actually commodity CFD that allow trader to uh, participate in the buy some from on the underlying commodities. So we actually have gold and silver. So uh, for gold, we have the USD one CFD, gold USD hundred, silver we have the USD fifty. And also we have also have future products that allow you to trade in the gold and silver. So next on, I will pass on to Warren to share more about the Go technical outlook. All right, thank you very much, uh, Mike, for a wonderful, amazing sharing. So um, before I go on, so um, today, um, I think some, some of you have uh, attended my more, my lunch hour uh, on the US webinar. So do take note that I will only take questions about gold and then the technical outlook and then uh, maybe some of the ETF. So um, the, for the gold ETF, I think most like, new, and, and then the gold miner company like Newmont or Barrick Gold, I think most, most likely you can just look at the support resistance first of all. And then after that, um, we are just very, uh, and then these companies and these ETFs are very much tied to um, the goal outlook itself. All right. So uh, without further ado, um, today, uh, we, after, after goal has a spectacular rise to above $2,000. So um, the question is, are we going to revisit back above $2,000 or are we still going to trending uh, below? So um, let's find out. So um, the three, three charts are mainly on monthly, weekly, and then daily. So I'll be using Wave to actually um, compute all the, all the analysis. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so um, before before I go and go, um, think I think the most important thing is um, understand the dollar index. So, um, dollar index, um, as as we all know that um, dollar index has been falling, um, from the high in in March. Okay, so is so look at my curve. So, uh, from one zero two, uh, close to one zero three, and then after that, it has a spectacular fall below ninety uh, ninety five dollars. That's where I, I I did a call on that. Um, that uh, dollar index might, might, might revisit lower at 94 or 93, but in the end, um, price is still trending below. So um, based on the, the, the corrective flag, I think in, in January, I think in January or March, I think me and Mike did a similar webinar, something like this, I shared something like the, the, the double three corrective uh, wave, All right? So um, base, basically, um, now we are the last leg of the zigzag of the whole um, double three corrective wave. So we are looking to we are looking that um, the the gold price um, the price of sorry of dollar index going to test lower uh, at ninety dollars. So if this ninety dollars zone is uh, going to be invalidated, then we are going to look at 86.73. So uh, it's somewhere around this level, this region, and then this region will definitely have a stronger rebound. All right, so if there's a still persistent weakness, then we'll see that um, for long term, if by the end of like next year, if it fails close above 97, then we are seeing that dollar index might go into a, a prolonged corrective range uh, as well. Okay, so um, daily chart, I think um, in my report on stocks BNB, I think um, the daily chart show further consolidation. And then um, this this actually the one, two, three, four, five, which I mentioned over here. So this is the one that I, I, I put on the day chart so that it don't clutter, it don't clutter out and the, the image, all right? So basically let's let's move on and let's let's zoom in, right? That if that uh, that for dollar index that um, that after after it fails to start uh, to to break past 94, because initially we thought that 94 is going to be broken. And then after that, you're going to reverse highly at 9463 to 9526. 226, I mean, okay, but it, it, it didn't happen. So it formed a double top and then A, B, C, and then it, it uh, carry on the downside uh, again. So uh, for now, we are think that this is a very, very, uh, very uh, rare corrective uh, downside channel. So we are going to think that, um, that, it, that there is going to be a further downside. Uh, and if should this be a form as a bearish harami. Okay, so uh, that's basically, that's the dollar index. Okay, so uh, do take note that however, if there is a surprise, if, if dollar the dollar ready surprise uh, is going to take out this, this support term resistance zone is definitely going to be a zone that uh, the cost of reversal. 
All right. So do not be taken aback that um, the dollar will, will, will be strengthened in the near future or near time period. Okay. So let's move on to proper uh, gold. Gold monthly. Okay. So um, gold initially, we thought that uh, it, it will never, it, it has a high chance of not passing this uh, 1008 uh, level. But um, surprisingly, it did. And then it did, it did with, uh, with a very fierce rally. All right. And then uh, for the past two months, um, actually one and a half months to be exact, um, gold actually traded above $2,000 and then it closes, nearly closes at $2,100. But however, uh, the the euphoric mo moment was, was not long lasting. And then therefore, um, price is now trending below. So um, the fact, this is a money chart. So the verdict is not, it's not set until next Tuesday that when this candle closes out. So uh, I think if it closes out below, then we can see a further downside correction. Um, but based on the daily chart and the weekly chart, which I'll show later, is basically is going to be a very prolonged range for a period of time. And then after that, uh, after that, you find a very good support, then it will most likely rebound higher, higher. Okay, so that's uh, that's for gold. And then uh, wanting to take note that um, that uh, since that the zigzag is invalidated, all right, uh, there is going to be a potential expanding flat. All right, uh, so is this one to three point six and then three hundred percent uh essential level of sub wave one to two that is going to be in, uh broken, then we can see that um that uh, critical level uh, of uh, the expanding flag is going to be invalidated. All right, so it means that there will be a high chance of it going up and then correction, and then after that, um do a final wave up. Okay, so as as long as price of gold stay above $2,000 for the rest of the year. Okay, so that, that is for the money chart. So you can look at uh, what they are right on the, on the, on the uh, snippets over here. So uh, we are looking at a strong third grand super cycle phase as well, if all these things plays out. All right, otherwise, I think as well, we're approaching a high uh, in the next coming, uh, is the next few, end, few months coming to the end of 2020. Then we can see that this level it should be taken, um, should not be taken lightly. It should be watched carefully. Okay. So I move on. Um, start wave of on the weekly chart. So the weekly chart of this, this one, two, three wave is actually part of this. All right. So I make it simpler. I go into the weekly chart. So uh, after after you have a complex wave last, uh, I think two years, uh, three years ago, you I say. Uh, it, it formed actually a higher high, and then it formed a sub first sub five wave of the uh, on the first, uh, on wave three, and then uh, like what I mentioned, I think that potential corrective wave is is ongoing. Okay, so later on the daily chart, I will show you why I think that this is uh, much more possible, and why is this uh, a a very good a uh, a very uh, like what do you, what do you mention? Uh, what do how do you say that like um like why I'm so confident that uh before it goes it, it rally and then uh it will go into a corrective. So in the on the daily chart I'll show you uh, exactly why it will happen. Okay. So um this is go daily. Uh so uh the daily chart. So daily chart I uh, already show you this is a sub wave. So it's an intermediate uh wave count. So one, two, and three. So uh if you don't like to use Fibonacci extension 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 level, um yeah, you can take this at three and then four, four then will like less likely to be completed now for yet now, unless it break uh this this level, all right. So the, 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 there's a sub wave count on, on this one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. And then, um, and then why I think that uh, there's a there's a correction further correction. Okay, um, okay. Do you know that this candle right now currently is trading at one nine five five or one nine six zero? If I'm not wrong, um, last check I uh, checked the price of gold is trading at that level. So, uh, let let's go back of uh, like last week, all right, where or two weeks ago where um, there's a very strong hammer above. Uh, fifty percent retracement or last week? Yeah, I think it's last week. Yeah, last week I did publish a report on this. Yeah, I think you can go to stockbnb.com and have a have a look. All right. So uh, and then it has a rise, raise above, uh, raise and then close, uh, nearly close above um two thousand dollars um psychological level. And then we thought, oh, okay, yeah, it might go go up further, but no. Uh, the next day, a uh, bearish um like tweezer top, or you can say that it's engulfing. Um, I would say it's engulfing because. 
this not really uh, it didn't engulf the previous shadow high as well. So um, this one I would say that is maybe at most is going to be tweezer. All right, or maybe dark cloud cover. You can see that. And then after that, uh, it tests the day point two at one nine two zero, and then after that, subsequently it goes up. All right. So in what case will will there be a strong impulse? Uh, without testing here, it means that the next for the next two weeks, you have going a strong bullish rally broke out of two zero five zero, and then then we are we can conclude that uh we will be going to two one two seven. All right. So if you go to two one two seven, do take note this level I highlighted on the money chart. This level it need to be taken um, carefully. Okay. All right. So um, if if price still still fails to clear above two thousand dollars, have a strong reversal, or maybe at uh, slightly two thousand, maybe two zero one five, two zero two three, two zero two three zero, then there will be a reversal, and then we can see that the reversal will come very strongly. Um, target uh, around the potential rebound zone at 1,008 to $1,825 per ounce. And then after that, you, you form a wave five rally. Okay, so um, do take note, why do I say that? Because um, today take away, I think is the lack of momentum to clear $2,000 above uh, last Tuesday and Wednesday. And subsequently it came crashing down and then let's see how, how it goes. So if, if it forms higher high and then or a higher low, <coughs> And then higher, um, you know, I mean higher low, lower high, then it might form a pattern. Then we see that maybe that will be a continuation pattern. So for now, uh, we, we, we shall adopt a wait and see approach on go itself actually. So with that, I end off my presentation. So um, this is our analyst page. So if you are interested in the local stocks, um, local stocks, and then well, we have a US analyst coming in. So, um, I uh, will keep everybody update and then ask us anything on our community page. All right. Okay. So uh, I, I manage a community page. So I will kind of like um, reply quite fast. All right. So um, right now we're going to Q&A. Right. Okay. So uh, Mike is going to, uh, I think there are some questions for Mike. All right. And then we will see. All right. Thank you. Okay, uh, someone asked about uh, to show the gold silver table first. Okay, here is the gold silver table. So you just follow, look out for this ratio game. Maybe I show you the. Yeah. First, you must identify the gold and silver ratio. Ratio chart whether is it an upper trend, downward trend, and determine the individual trend for gold and silver. Then you uh, make use of this table as a guideline to enter the trade. Uh, if you are interested actually for the gold silver ratio uh, chart, right? Actually, you can uh, make use of trading view. Give me a moment. So you can see, uh, make use of this chart to get the gold silver ratio. There's another place that you can make use get the gold silver ratio chart. Let me give you a moment. So for this macro trend, they show actually gold silver ratio over the years. Give me a moment. So over here, they also show you, actually they can also show you the uh, recession uh, portion where how, what happened during uh, the gold silver ratio for all this recession happened in the past. So it's actually quite useful for using for analysis. But for here, right, they doesn't show you the, you can't do any adjustments. So if you want to actually do a uh, so-called putting indicators, right, you need to use this chart at the trading view. Okay. 
Okay, someone actually asked, will silver actually retest or go higher than the 2011 uh, peak of this ounce? I would say that currently uh, we have to see the trend for this gold silver ratio. If the ratio actually continue to break lower actually and go still uh, going to continue to go up, but actually silver can actually go up faster because actually silver, right? I would say that is more faster than the uh, gold. If it when gold price start to go up, you go uh, it can actually go faster because of the you see that silver price, right? Actually, the price is lower as compared to gold. However, when actually gold price start to drop, right? Silver also run drop down faster than the uh, gold itself. So actually, you can make use of the gold silver ratio. That's actually how they actually. They do a pass analysis and come up with this table. This table I also uh, study and get it online from the website. They actually did discussion on this. Hi. Um. So, um. Francis, Mr. Francis Tan asked, um, that uh, this presentation of discuss how gold could move and the technical analysis. How come the most important? But he made a very good uh, point. How come the most important analysis of gold and silver future market in Comex is not discussed at all? Okay. First of all, the the gold that I price is um that we taken from there from this um from the slides. Uh, I think it's this okay. So from here, uh, first we just need to explain uh, this uh, spot gold price because gold in the futures market um it, it depends on exchanges. So it, it is is uh we do not have the data for amount. So uh yes, so it has some manipulation all this, but all those news I think are no not really um uh, uh, very um I think it is a price I price in, and then next one let's look at the gold. Uh, I mean the. Uh, let's let's look at the COT report. I think um, I think I think if we are looking at the uh, I think we are looking at it. I think COT we we have seen that uh, managed money uh, which is uh, the commercials, and then uh, we have this uh, as a non-commercials and etc etc. So um, just don't mind this uh, level. So um, I didn't really use COT for coming more traders trading for gold. This is my first time using it. I normally use it if you attend my US webinar. I think I use it for Dow Jones and then I use it for currencies as well. So uh, pardon me if I there, there's something that's not applicable or I get it wrong. Uh, just let me know. 
All right. So um, you can see that the managed money, which are the largest hedge fund, are still very piling on 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 long itself, and of course the gold. But the swap dealers are, are the shorts over here. So it create a very strong inverse uh inverse relation between this. So when this happens, so when the shorts starting piling for swap dealers, and then the long start to go above uh above like um being positive, I think. That goal is going to set in the long direction, uh, in, in the longer direction. And then if if you really mentioned that just now, uh, I basically use pure technical analysis to actually derive the 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 outlook for goal. And then go actually, if you look at look over here, I think go actually um you look at the weekly charging go is going to go for range as well and then uh francis i think you make a point that um based on the news i think go is going to be range bound for a while and i can assure you that um that people are still are still quite strong bullish on go first because um the wave three and then the wave five is not completed yet uh, sub impulse wave five is not complete yet so there will be uh one more upside to it but how how strong the upside is uh, we need to see at the money chart, all right, and then couple with the strong, with the strong, uh, I mean, with the uh, weak, uh, weak momentum of dollar, then yep, this is definitely uh, a, a sign that gold will continue to go up. So it depends uh, where you want to where to buy and sell. I will look at around this potential target rebound zone, or I can look for a breakout, right? I hope that answers your question, Francis. Um, very, very much. Thank, thank you very much for your this um this question. All right. So, sometimes we do miss out. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, we love uh, if you show any question, just put in the Q and A. All right. Thank you. So um, Mary, you also any video watch uh, is will be on our Facebook is recorded. Yeah. All right. And then where can I get? Uh, I think uh, Mike has already answered. So uh, can you share your views on gold miner stocks? Uh, okay. So uh, let's go to Bloomberg. So I'm um, going to share. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's go to go. Um, okay, uh, barracks. Okay, so barracks. Okay, Barry go is the is the best of all. So Barry go. Can see that from the daily chart. Okay, so um, it it, it has a gap down, and then after that, swiftly it went up again. So this is where the the goal was actually um, pricing at um, um I mean with attempt to return above two thousand five hundred dollars all right but uh based on this i think uh we are still looking to cover it okay first is because there's a false breakout um it's, it's like go oh, you're gonna have a false breakout over here all right and then uh next thing is uh although there's a like a bearish um you can say a tweezer or something i, I think you can say a tweezer and then like a, a mini inverted head and shoulder but this candle is actually not showing anything. So I think uh, the there there will be a, a slight upside, but the slight upside is not going to bring you anything. So um, based on that, I think you look at a uh, uh, okay, look at the Fibonacci uh, extension level. So you'll be looking at uh, let me adjust it. Is uh likely not uh, is likely going to test your maximum thirty two dollars psychological level maximum and then if it can break good then we can go up to thirty three point six six but otherwise I think very go does I'm going to look for uh uh wait and see approach uh, where do you think that we should buy I think um let's pull out the Fibonacci again and then we can look at the immediate high we can look at fifty to sixty one point twenty seven dollars I will just look at this level the gap the void over here the buying void to actually buy back up again all right so that's for very gold uh same for etf so um bankers um uh, any etf you like to like to say um let me let me let me know okay okay so let's mm -hmm. move on all right any video watch here so will be on facebook Okay, uh, are they good uh, silver minor ETF? So um, do take note of uh, inverse ETF from gold and silver, like the direction three times, that, that has time decay, all right? So that one I'll avoid, uh, I, will, I, will, I will strongly against um, people to, to actually trade. If you want, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather you do, do on the futures, all right? 
Okay, so can you show the table again? Uh, maybe is it the uh, go silver ratio or what table? Uh, could you just type in the chat? All right, thank you. Okay, uh, the table showing the movement of gold and silver ratio. Okay, so it's over here. All right, I think my colleague Mike has do a uh, very good. So you can go macro trends or you can go to trainingview.com to see the trend. All right, thank you. Uh, Jonathan asked, the gold and silver seem to be a long trend since May when gold and silver has been on uptrend during the same period. So we should think of silver now. So we can look at silver. Um, silver. Okay, so look at silver spot. Okay, this is a silver spot. So silver um, is like gold. It has a form of pattern. Uh, this right now is actually form a, a very nice pattern. So um, if you ask me, I think silver is a nicer, I'll be a nicer pair to buy, buy. All right. And then you can look to have a breakout at $28 or $27.50. So once you break out, I think you will test the immediate high at $30. All right, let's see. Okay, so like um, I silver, silver has not uh, cleared its $30 mark. All right, um, based on the wave, I think one, two, three, four, five, this one we like the extended third wave. And then we are looking for uh, upside again, once again, all right? So can I book and silver, oh, sorry, okay, thank you. Go minus stocks, okay, so I've answered yeah. that. Okay, go and silver on the offering. So taking it up, okay, I'll answer that. Uh, maybe, maybe Mike would like to add on about the gold and silver ratio in, in regards to buying silver. Right. Okay, first of all, we see that actually gold and silver ratio, right? This has been on a downtrend, gold and silver price has been on an upward trend. So this one is actually, uh, if you see this, right, will actually be indicated training signal to buy silver. But currently actually gold and silver is, I would say that in the stagnant. So if in case actually they do break out, right? Actually, I'll expect silver to actually go up fast, faster than the gold price based on this actually table. Okay, at current price, is silver relative cheaper than gold? Uh, yes, because if you see gold price is actually around 1,000, one, one, almost 2,000, and silver is just around 20 plus only. So you can see actually, why silver price, silver is uh, more speculative than gold, right? Because it's currently, you can see, it's much cheaper. So actually, when people want to do speculation, right actually they'll treat silver because silver price when you go up they'll go up faster but when you drop they'll actually definitely drop faster also that's the risk of silver also so if you are talking about uh silver etf i think there's one etf called uh, slv give me a moment Yeah, so this is one of the silver ETF that you can look into. Uh, I share silver trust. Okay, so for gold stock. Uh, okay, so if you are getting a so called, I'm thinking you are referring to gold miner stock when they pay out dividend because they are listed in US. So actually, for all this stock, right, they'll be actually subjected to a we holding tax of 30%, but it can be also higher or lower depending on how actually they structure their dividends. Uh, okay, another question. Uh, can CPS be invested in all the ETF or UT listed on the chart? Okay, because uh, for CPF wise, right, uh, they'll be more restrictive. So actually, uh, for my aware, because I have, we only have, for me, I only have license towards the equity side. So actually for this O87, you can actually make use of CPF to invest into this uh, ETF. For all this US, right, you can't use CPF. Uh. And also these two, I don't, you can't use CPF. Okay, just now someone actually asked about what is the fundamental target price 
uh, for gold, just like I think uh, earlier on, we actually uh, talk about uh, which was, uh, from the actually the world gold council, right? Actually, they did a calculation based on the inflation adjusted uh, record for this gold, right? It's actually expected around USD 2800. Uh, for Barry Gold, I think the the expectation was around twenty seven, twenty five dollars, twenty six dollars based on the Fibonacci retracement I pulled up just now. Uh, just let me know if I miss it. Um, okay, so yeah, it will be twenty seven, uh, twenty seven to twenty eight dollars. All right, this region, this void over here will be the best level. Okay, and then I hope that answers your question. So uh, so. So does your TA has roughly the same target as of two thousand eight hundred? Um, I will I will say um I need to go in further because I didn't factor in that one. So but I because this webinar is is target for like the next three month movement. All right. So and then yeah. So I didn't really factor in. But um I think in the long term yes maybe. All right. So um there's a question. May I ask when is two thousand eight dollar eight hundred dollars expected? Uh, uh, this is a very tough question. So because I think um. The expectation maybe it, it, it really uh it really has a lot of factor. First, the US election this year uh, which held in November, and then um people are polling on the equities as well. This is the first time the equities and gold actually move in tandem. All right, and then of course the Bitcoin as well. So um except for the currency of a US dollar, I think the US dollar, the gold, the the US equities are going up on my as of we are speaking right now, Dow futures. Um, um I mean the the S P five hundred E mini future have already break three thousand four hundred. All right. Uh, okay. All right. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, CPF. Thanks. Can see CPF. I think we have answered that already. Okay. So um, uh, spot. Can you show a conversion score and like to see what which one can run faster? Um, okay, so I think both of them are they confluence with each other. So, uh, Jul Julian asked, so which one which one do you think will run faster? I think, uh, I think definitely I think spot gold will, will definitely be the one on riser because the gold miner actually are very um uh, is very subjective to prices um price of gold itself and then you can look at the chart the chart is slightly different so this this whole thing over here is look very corrective. All right, so I hope that answers your question, Julian. So, uh, what is a good price? Okay, and uh, okay, so so uh, Ray just now asked, uh, okay, this this one is out of the question. So she, he asked, um, where where do you do, where, uh, he missed my afternoon webinar? So where do you go and go? So you can actually find at our Facebook page, our Philly Capital Facebook page, or our webinar. Most of our webinar are recorded and then posted over there, so you can rewatch and rewatch again. All right. Thank you. So uh Mr. Paul Boon Lee asked uh, BTG. So let's we got time constraint, let's do PDG, okay? I think I'm not sure. I think it's uh oh, B2Go Corp. Okay, so yes, you, you see you, you do really have that. So um I think B2 this this um this for this stock, okay. This gold stock, I think it has the expanded um, uh what do you call that? Uh expanded wedge. Broadening wedge pattern, so um, I would say that uh, this this is slightly weak, although it's still about a fifty day moving average. But I would say that uh, if you want to buy now, yes, you sure you can. But do remember that your stop level should be here, and then after that, uh, look out for the uh, uh, support level over here. At, uh, where's the price? Let me see. Let me display. At, uh, okay, so we'll be at. Uh, five dollars seventy four four five cent. Okay, thank you. So, um, Mr. Wong asks, how does gold silver compare to 
platinum and per per palladium. Okay, actually, uh, for gold and silver, right? Uh, I would say that. Uh, how do you compare? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, comparing the price or movement, I would say that platinum and palladium, right? Some of their properties actually in terms of uh, I would say more towards the car because of the usage in the car and uh, so-called catalyst over there. So actually, they are, I would say that it's quite different usage. So I would say that for gold and silver, people speculate them more as compared to platinum and palladium because it's easier to trade in these two products as compared to platinum and palladium. Okay, someone uh, asked is go traded 24 hours, 7 days. It's not, it's just trading during the so called the 5 days, 24 hours. Uh, only Bitcoin is 24 yeah, I will say that uh, my colleague has just mentioned only so called the digital gold or what you know as Bitcoin is actually traded 24 hours, 7 days a week. Other than that, actually, gold is just traded 24 hours, 5 days a week. Uh, and the most volatile. Actually, volatile. I also just now another question people ask is. Uh, whether gold price will continue to rate, uh, rise after this November uh, 20 election, I would say that uh, depends who is going to be re-elected. If it's Trump, I expect there will be more uncertainty in the market because of his habit of doing tweeting and announcing policy online. So I will say that this will actually continue to actually cause uh, more volatility in the market. However, if it's Biden, right, I will say that he is unlikely to have a habit like Trump. So I expect the market right will have a more stable policy. So when there's more stability, I think this can actually affect the price of the gold. It may not rise. Okay, so uh, someone asked actually for mining company with asset in country prone to political or economic crisis. Is there any risk of mine confiscation during a liquidity event like what we had in uh, March 2020? I would say that definitely if there's a so-called country is facing some liquidity, they may actually uh, confiscate this mine. <laughs> there's a possibility of that happening. Uh, physical gold price chart, I think, is very subjective. And then uh, I think online there is some. I think in Singapore, some of the bullions they do have spot gold prices, uh, like spot physical gold prices. All right. Um, also, uh, on on a side note, um, Mr. Ng, uh, Mr. Ray Ng, okay. Um, don't go and don't go and buy uh spot physical gold from the banks. I think I uh, like the local bank, which I can't mention their names, of course, for various reasons. But because they 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 their spread is very 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 huge, and then it's at at the retailer's disadvantage. So uh, you can look um that I think online there is a lot. So. 
but I think that if you would like to buy physical gold, I think you first of all you need to have a very good safe, and then you need to find a security company that store your gold. Okay, never store in a bank because in case touch wood, in case of bank run, I think your gold will be confiscated by the bank because it's in in, in the statue or something. I remember I heard it from my mentor somewhere else regarding this. All right, so I hope you answer your question. Um. If gold price is uh 1940.80, the O7 gold ETF is one to what's the relationship of the ratio? Uh I won't give you exact guide of the ratio, uh Charlene. So I think that this 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 one will be uh I think the gold ETF obviously will, will actually be packed to what the gold price movement is is going. So you can go into poem chart and then you compare it. Uh, you can use the chart to, to actually do it. I, I won't bother doing the ratio because the ratio is too much calculation. I think leave it to the the, the PhD guys and the stats guys to do it. All right. Okay. So that, so that's all. One of the election, silver price, not done. Uh, fundamental silver and gold price target, I think, um, we do um there, there there's a lot of various um based on um uh, based on the fundamental price target. I think uh, we can't uh we can't get one 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 out yet. Uh so that's why the technical analysis is play a part in using the uh in, in targeting the price of gold. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you. Okay, which online platform has best gold? Of course, poem. Thank you. I think cash flow retest is 2011 peak. Uh, wait, wait, I think um, silver is it? Okay, so let's look at silver again. So pardon me. Okay, silver, let's see. Let's look at the money chart, all right? The money chart will be a very, a very good. Uh, okay, so uh, this, uh, wow, this is very high, of course. Um, I think, I think there's still very much, there's a lot of room to actually test the, the 211 high, but uh, first of all, the wedge has been broken. All right, so this uh, it has been broken and then has been trading range and then now on the upside. So of course, uh, there's a lot of room, but um, the, the, the long-term target is 32 to $34 um, resistance zone must be broken first in order to target the new high. But right? obviously there's a lot of room so but it's going to be a very long way. All right. Thank you. Okay. So Mr. Kong or Mrs. Kong. Uh, CFD versus option, which one is better? I think um, I think it depends on your risk appetite and your and the amount of money that you put in. Uh, option there's time TK, CFD, there is. I think I think I, I CF for CFD, I think you can ask Mike. He's a CFD expert over here, not me. I'm I, I really don't know. All right. So can can you share with us the future strategy for gold and silver? I think um I think gold and silver has been moving along in the tandem, all right? For now, there's a very strong correlation within within them. So I think I think you can look at silver to buy as well, okay? All right, thank you. Is that your fundamental question? Oh, Francis asked a very good question as well. I wow, love it. Love this question. How safe is it? Is storing bank can be subject to confiscation? How safe is it buying gold silver ETF which is sub subject to similar confiscation? I think um I think it, it, it is it's more of like the if let's say um the 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 the, the company that issued the ETF like let's say the DRSO, uh actually suddenly have a scandal or what then that 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 that's the thing I'll be more worrying instead of the physical gold. So um, if storing bank is means for the physical gold, but um, confiscation, if there is a bank is not doing it all, like Lehman Brother collapse. But yeah, so for now, I think it will happen in Singapore. Yeah, so that's why I will recommend. I recommend that people actually store their physical gold with a security company. All right, thank you. Any view on free uh, FCS? I don't know what is that. All right. How does a steeper U curve affect gold prices? Because um, I think steep, I think uh, once U curve, um, there's a there's a direct diverse inverse relationship, so you definitely affect gold prices. All right. Okay, so uh, due to time constraint, I think we'll take a few last few questions. All right. Okay. 
okay, Julian, uh, Julius, uh, sorry, I think you are Julius, so sorry, I pronounced your name wrongly earlier on. So with, will the, uh, okay, will the rise of current tech sector like 5G, IoT star contribute increase or go usage? I think it, it uh, will, like what uh, Mike mentioned just now, I think it will per, per dalium will increase the, the, the most first and then followed by go. Go, I think is very subjective. Go has been uh, heavily, um, well, I think speculate and then gold as a very good prophesis because it's radioactive, right? And then, yeah, gold itself, what's the value? Um, people set the values, right? Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Okay, uh, okay, let's see, let's see from the top again. So, so uh, Uh, someone asked about a uh, question whether to consider uh, what to consider when you're buying a uh, spot go or physical go. So first of all, physical go, right? First, you have to compare about your storage, how you are going to store your physical go. And uh, what is a uh, spot go is, okay, first of all, are you going to actually use this go for trading or so-called investing as a so-called safe haven asset? And, as a storage of value. If you are actually trading, well, I'll say that uh, maybe you'll buy so-called trip spot go instead. If you are actually going to keep for long term, maybe you'll consider physical go. Sorry, I, I what I meant is uh, go is not radioactive, is uh, anti radioactive, like it, it, it is protect against radio, radioactive. I believe so. I read that somewhere else uh, during a book, so that ingrained in my memory. But I forgot what book is that. So let me find out, Mr. Wong. All right, thank you. So it, go, remember, go is not radioactive. So sorry, I think plutonium is radioactive, go is not. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So sorry for the big stuff. <laughs> Okay, someone actually also asked about uh, what, uh, how the gold price actually correlate with equity movement, dollars movement. Okay, I'll say that when dollars strengthen, gold price will weaken because actually most of the gold are traded in uh, USD. So the next thing is that, uh, another thing is that actually gold price, you just mentioned, is actually uh, uncertainty. If there's a lot of uncertainty in the market, gold price will actually uh, so-called continue to perform well. However, if let's say there's a vaccine or the economy is start to recover, it actually gold price will actually start to drop. So I would say that it's depending on the uh, uncertainty in the market. Just now, I think uh, there's another question about how gold silver movement. Okay, first of all, we talk about uh, USD. So because gold and silver is mainly traded in US dollar. So if US dollar is strong, gold and silver as you expect to come down. The next thing is about interest rate. So actually interest rate, right? so interest rate actually affect the equity performance. So when interest rate is going up, actually I would say that for the uh, stock equity, right? You expect to actually have higher returns. So actually this will actually decrease the appetite for actually gold and silver. However, as interest rates start to go down, actually uh, so-called equity market will be less attractive. People will start to look into gold and silver. Yeah, so they're actually an uh, inverse relationship. All right, so uh, I think, I, I think um, we have come to an end to our webinar. All right, so I think um, if, we do not answer your question or there's some confusion, uh, do drop, um, do visit our website as, um, at uh, philip at cfd.com. All right, um, it's over here. So philip cfd, cfd. So um, I think, okay, so uh, this, this is the one, then you can go to research and tool or alternatively you can go to my website at stocksbnb.com. 
Um, let's promote my community page again. So um, I think I've been um, promoting this. So um, just let me know for that. And then, uh, yes, please join the Telegram group also. And then we do have a Go Telegram, Telegram group, I think you can join. Um, let me get the link out later on. All right, if not, then you can contact Mike. Mike will, will, will send an invite to you. All right, so I think, uh, I think uh, me and Mike is very thankful to for all your attendance. All right, Mike, do you have anything to say? Okay, uh, in case you have any question, because I think there's quite a lot of questions you may not be able to answer. All. So in case uh, you have still have questions, I can uh, feel free to ask us in the Telegram group also or under the uh, stock BNB website. Thank you.